This is interesting. This may be a situation in which somebody has to let go of you. Either you need to let go of something or someone or you are trying to be released from someone else's or something else's clutches. Because the next set of cards you have here are the Hanged Man, the Five of Wands, and the Magician. Now I feel like this is representing someone that is wanting to move forward, wanting to be let go of, wanting to manifest something new. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your day or for your moment whenever this reading finds you. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't as this may not resonate for everyone. And also this is a timeless reading. Yeah, so whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Happy Monday, everybody. Um, I hope you all had a good weekend. Um, two major announcements that I want to make right now before we get into our session here. Um, first is, at the top right of your screen, there is a link to the latest video that I put out yesterday. Um, it is called the Crystal, I'm sorry, the Liquid Crystal Healing Session. And for that video, for that session, we used the Liquid Crystal Oracle, donated by Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn. Um, so we, I pulled one card for, uh, uh, for healing advice or healing messages for each sign, moving all the way through the zodiac from Aries to Pisces, Ophiuchus included. And then I went a little bit deeper with some tarot, um, to just to flesh out the message a little bit more for you. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out yet, again, link is in the top right of corner of your screen. Also down in the description box and in the pinned comment below. Yeah? So go ahead and check that out. That was a really fun session. I really enjoyed doing that. And and um, Camwa, you mentioned in a comment that uh, you enjoyed the longer videos. And actually, I'm really liking doing this whole like all signs thing. I want to figure out more ways to do that um, because... It's, I mean, I like doing these collective readings. I'm going to continue doing collective readings, but I also like to do the sign, all signs things, or just like, I want to be able to speak to all the signs more often than just once a month with monthly readings, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to be looking for more ways to do that. Um, but it definitely feels like the liquid crystal healing session is something that has some staying power. Yeah. Excellent. Next announcement that I want to make, um, it's a pretty big one. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous in making the announcement and I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why, but I'm whew, okay. Um, so I've started a new channel and it is a love channel. It's called Mystic Unicorn Readings. Uh, the link to that can be, I don't think I can share the link in like a card or anything. If I can, I'll do that. But at least the link is found down in the description box and the pinned comment with like the timestamps and everything. Yes, I have started a new channel um, and it's all about love. Like we're going to be doing nothing but love readings over there. Okay. Um, and the reason why I've started that new channel to focus strictly on love is because I finally was able to get my ego out of the way and recognize that, let me say that again, I was finally able to get my ego out of the way, yeah, and I started to recognize that the collective really does need love readings, okay, humanity does need love readings, and um, this was a conversation that I had with my friend Molly, who is of uh, Real Housewives of Tarot, um, but, you know, even though you channel love and interpersonal relationships and that gets you, that leaves you open to be channeling or reading for, you know, toxic situations, karmic situations, all kinds of drama, this, that, and the third. Um, there are still really good messages, really beneficial message, messages and quite healing messages that people can gain through those readings. Spirit can still speak through the reader if you're doing love readings. 
Um, and to be quite honest, I, I came to the understanding, one of the main reasons why I, I told my ego to kind of like sit down and shut up <laughs> was that I recognized, I came to the realization that people, a lot of people, are, a lot of humans, a lot of humanity is still learning a lot of lessons in terms of self-love and unconditional love through other people, okay? Those of us here that really vibe on divine conversations that aren't really looking for love outside of ourselves are really working on healing and working on that, cultivating that self-love while single, cultivating unconditional love while single. Is that, I don't think that's very common, at least not in, not in this realm, not in the tarot community, not in that, like, you know what I mean? That's not that... It's more common for, for, I don't know, I might be talking out of my ass right now. <laughs> but like for those of us here, we're doing it a little bit differently. And I will admit, I, I have come to the realization, I've come to the understanding that I probably only really helped to alienate a lot of people in the past when I was all like, nah, fuck love, we're not talking about that here. <laughs> Do your own work. <laughs> I get it. But at the same time, I also understand why I was in that space, why I was reacting that way. You know, I had to get over like I, I this is not this is not me saying that I'm like I have a I'm, I'm dating someone or I have a solid relationship. That's that and the third. No, I'm actually very I, I, I've cultivated. See, OK, I've actually been able to cultivate a lot of self-love a self-awareness, okay? And I've, got, I've been able to do a lot of healing surrounding that, meaning that I've been able to heal a lot of that for myself, so now I can approach that situation for other people, right? So I've gotten to the point where I, I've healed enough to be able to read for read for love and divine feminine, divine masculine, maybe, maybe, divine, like twin flame stuff, maybe. But at least read for love without getting triggered. Because man, let me tell you. Actually, I don't need to tell you. Many of you saw it, but I just like, I would, I would hit these certain positions or these certain situations or th these certain energies that would just like throw me like, I'm like, I don't, why, why are people doing this to themselves? I don't want to be reading for this. This is fucking ridiculous. Get this shit out of my face. Sorry about it. <laughs> so anyway, I've started a new channel, Mystic Unicorn Readings. Um... Oh God, I wish I got, I hope I got the name of my channel right. Anyway, um, it's, the link is in the description box below and in the pinned comment, yeah. So go ahead and, go ahead and check it out. Um, I've already got a, a number of readings out there. I have a schedule that, for it that I'm gonna be working on following. And yeah, so tell your friends. Eric is doing love readings officially. Yay. Okay guys, with all of that said, that's all I've got for you. So let's get into this. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get our general collective reading um, for the moment. I don't have an agenda. I don't really have anything else that I wanna talk about with the collective. So I'm like diving into this kind of blindly, which is cool. Um, maybe we can, you know, bring up a new situation here. So we're gonna be using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Where did I put the box to that? So I can show you, oh wait. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, it's probably, yep, it's all the way over there. Okay, that's fine. Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. I've got my Los Carabello deck, finally got it back out of the car. <laughs> and then that's for clarification, if we need to, if we need, if need be, okay? If we, like sometimes me clarifying things is a little redundant. So only if we really need it, only if it's necessary. And then I feel like I wanna close our, our, our message with the Crystal Mandala Oracle, yeah? All right, guys, so let's get into this and see what we've got for today. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of, in terms of the situations, situationships, 
romances, relationships, places, and circumstances in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys. Let's get into this. I'm going to give this five shuffles for the collective. We'll see what we've got for today, yeah? This is one. This is two. This is three. Four. Take that one. Okay. And five. Okay. Here we go. We have one card that's come out so far. It's the six of wands. Okay. Let's see what else we've got going on for today. What's the collective message for right now? What's going on with the collective right now? Please, Spirit. Okay. All right, guys. Um, there's a choice that needs to be made here. A choice. And actually, and you know what, you guys? It's a big, it's a big choice. This is a big choice for somebody, okay? Uh, the Six of Wands... Spirit is saying, yes, it is related. Okay. All right. What you have come out here so far, you have the lovers, the four of swords, and the four of pentacles. What I'm getting from this, you guys, is that there is a need to release something. There is a need to let go of something. This could be in love. This absolutely could be in love. This could be something that you really, truly love. Like you, or, or you think... Or maybe you think you truly love it. Because it may not necessarily be love. It may be an attachment. Um, but there is something here about needing to sit down and focus. And really get clear. What I'm hearing is really get clear on what matters to you. Okay. Or I'll say really get clear on what matters in this situation. Or in your life in general. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Pentacles. And at, underneath the Five of Pentacles is the world. There is something that's trying to end, come to completion in your life. And quite frankly, guys, what I feel like here is that this is a victory. Okay? It feels like it could be a good thing that something is coming to a close. That's what I just heard. Something is coming to a close. And... There's something here. About, this really could be a, a romantic relationship. It could be. But there's something about this with the lovers here that's giving me this feeling of um, there's a choice. What I'm hearing is a choice for betterment of self or there's a better choice for the self. There's a, there's a, there's a better choice. There's a choice that serves your highest good versus serves your addictions or your vices. And I feel like somebody here is holding on to this situation, this situationship, this circumstance, or this romance out of a lack mentality, out of feeling lack and less than. Let me look at, because there are three more cards here. This is interesting. This may be a situation in which somebody has to let go of you. Either you need to let go of something or someone or you are trying to be released from someone else's or something else's clutches. Because the next set of cards you have here are the Hanged Man, the Five of Wands, and the Magician. And I honestly feel, now I feel like... Now I feel like this is representing someone that is wanting to move forward, wanting to be let go of, wanting to manifest something new. And yet something is being held on to. Someone is being held on to. 
Now, for others of you, this could be the exact opposite. This could be the fact that you have let go, that you have gone through a period or a situation where you decided, case in point, what I just said about how I'm, I've started a new a, a love channel. By the way, I didn't really explain that well enough. Um, so sidebar, and if you skipped uh, right to the reading, then you're going to hear about this. But I did start a new love channel in which we're going to be talking about love specifically. But I started a new channel for that because I recognize that those of us here on Divine Conversations aren't necessarily going to resonate with that, aren't necessarily looking for those types of messages. And so instead of confusing things and confusing the energies, because because I've noticed over time that the narrative that I pull here for for the core of divine uh, divine conversations doesn't necessarily want to hear that or uh, i'm sorry doesn't necessarily line up with people that are looking for love readings and looking for that type of that type of stuff right like they don't want to hear that and those that are, are really vibing here don't want to really hear the love readings and all that kind of stuff so i started a new channel for it so that we can have our deep esoteric woo woo sometimes conspiracy theory conversations here right and then over on the other channel we can do all that love stuff okay so i thought about it and i reckon okay so ready ready i thought about it four of swords i recognized that word there was a choice that needed to be made the lovers Okay, and this was a choice of vice over virtue. This was a choice of what is actually necessary. What's going to serve my highest good business wise? Okay, what's going to serve the collective's highest good? Where, how can I meet people where they are to be the channel and the representative that I am? Okay, so I had to think about that. And in order to come to a decision, I had to let something go. I had to recognize that my inability to even approach that situation was from doubt, lack mentality, feeling left out in the cold, feeling hurt, having needed to heal, okay? And thus, I made the decision, okay? So you, then you have the, uh, the hanged man here with the five of wands and the magician. And so I'm first thing I wanted I, I, I want to say is that I really want to clarify this five of wands. But it could the five of wands could just represent the creative chaos of change and creation. It feels like there's a resolution that's coming here. A res I just heard a resolution is being made. This five of wands could either be some sort of internal conflict. Or it can be an external argument or um, negotiation. Or it could just be the creative chaos of change. Okay. But there's a change in perspective here. There was a level of being stuck or stagnant. Or there's just a level of enlightenment that you've come to. After, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. It goes this way. It goes five of wands to the hanged man, then to the magician. So yeah, there was a deliberation. There was an argument. There is an argument. There needs to be some sort of discussion. I don't know. I'm going to call the five of wands deliberation. And taking my, um, my example into account here, I had to sit down and think about it with myself. I put all the pieces together because it got to a point where I was getting personal readings all the time for love. Like the last number of personal readings that I got was for interpersonal relationships. So at that point, I said to myself, Eric, there's obviously, obviously there's a market for this, but like obviously people need this stuff. Who are you to sit here? Here's that argument. Here's that deliberation. Here's that conversation. Who are you to sit here and say, no, I, you don't need a love reading. You don't need to be hearing about what's going on in, in this situation. What? Excuse me? Who the hell do you think you are? Right? <laughs> right? 
And thus, the argument, the deliberation happens. I am picking up that this, this Five of Wands energy absolutely represents you having a conversation with somebody else about whatever it is you're trying to make a decision of here or make a decision towards here, okay? And I feel like specifically that conversation changed your perspective. I don't know if you actually found a resolution, came to an agreement, found a resolution or something like that, or, or something else. Because what I'm picking up on is for somebody out here, y'all were having a conversation with this significant other or something like that if this is a love relationship for you, or if this is just, if this has to do with other people, if it involves others, you had a conversation with them and they said something that it was like a light bulb in your head. You got it. Something within you shifted, something within you changed and it changed your whole perspective. And then that puts you in alignment with what it is you want to manifest. Like I literally heard, I literally feel like you had some sort of argument or discussion with someone in which they said something or something came out or, you know, the, 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 the circumstance developed in a way that some sort of light bulb went off in your head and you figured something out. You got a new perspective. It changed your perspective or at least it, it gave, brought you the enlightenment that you needed. It brought you the clarity that you needed. And then that sets you off on figuring out what it is you want to work towards, what it is you want to manifest. Manifest. For some of you, this for some of you, this does represent a, a a love situation, and some of you got an understanding. Maybe you got an understanding of what it is you want to manifest out of a relationship. Ultimately, you got a deeper understanding of that, okay? But what I feel like on the surface here, it's more about the fact that you recognize that this was not something that you wanted to be a part of any longer. And ultimately then, yes, that would create the contrast in your mind to say, okay, well, I know I don't want that anymore, so let's go manifest something new, right? But I'm not, I'm not so necessarily sure that it's as deep as that as deep as I know exactly what it is that I want now and now I'm gonna go after it. I feel like this is more like, okay, I know I don't want that and I know I don't want you and I know I don't want this and we're done here. And I'm gonna manifest something new. And that's where the victory comes in, six of wands, okay? There was a level of keeping up appearance that I was picking up in the past, but that was before the situation changed. You reached the enlightenment, you let go and you probably realize, some of you probably realize that there was lack mentality involved with this. Whatever was keeping you in whatever position it is you needed to move out of, there was lack mentality. And that's come to an end. The world. Okay. I definitely want to get into some clarification here. Got my Los Carabello deck. Um, I, I want to start with the five of wands. Please shuffle. So that was one. This is two. Whoops, this is two, and this is three. All right, so what I'm gonna, I, I wanna talk about this five of wands. What's the five of wands here, please, spirit? Ooh, came right out. Okay, this was a conversation that you had with someone. This literally came out immediately. You have the seven of wands, you have the Nine of Cups, and then you have the Empress, okay? This was a conversation, or this was an argument, a disagreement is what I'm hearing, in, that involved, probably involved someone, because then you, have, you do have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the Eight of Swords is judgment to the magician, not, not to the magician, to the emperor, all right? So this was a situation in which somebody was trying to tell you, well, I, I just heard, Someone was trying to keep you in a lack mentality, in a lack energy, because that's the vibe that they're flowing in. Whether this is actually a romantic relationship or a friendship or a family member or a coworker or a side piece, whatever. <laughs> I don't know where the side piece came from, but whatever. Maybe, hey, it'll resonate for someone, right? So this was an argument. This was an argument about happiness and satisfaction 
And ultimately, like I'm not getting in, I'm not getting into any of the specifics other than the fact that it was based around a lack mentality, your overall energy of the five of swords. I'm sorry, the five of pentacles. And then you have an overall energy here at the in, on the bottom of the clarifying deck as the eight of swords. But it was time for you to rise above this. And what I'm getting here, especially with the emperor underneath judgment here, okay, the master of your own domain, the CEO of your own life. What I'm getting from that, you guys, is that somebody put a hard boundary in place and said you know what no stop right there because I am going to be happy I have every right to be happy and I have every right to be happy with the things that make me happy not what you tell me I should be happy about or happy with and not what anyone else tells me what I should be happy about or happy with and I have every right to go after that and I'm going to go after that. I have every right to receive that, the Empress, with the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Wands. And what the Empress is saying here, the Empress is bringing forward a belief that you can cultivate anything that you want. Why? Because the Empress represents unconditional love. The Empress is that part of the, of the universe that hands you just about anything you want, that will never tell you no, that may say, Yes, but let's go about it this way. Or yes, but let me bring you this instead because this is actually better for you. This is actually more on alignment. The universe is never going to tell you no. Okay. No, you can't do something. No, you can't have something. Now that, okay. All right, look, I know some of you are kind of like peeking up like, what the hell are you talking about, Eric? I know that that's... But see, that's that's a pretty nuanced and intricate conversation, which that's going to take a while to talk about. OK, obviously, there are situations where, you know, something isn't for your best good. Something really isn't in alignment with you. Something really isn't meant to work out. There is a bigger plan here. All right. But what I'm getting at is the universe is not in the business of really denying us things. OK. It's really not. In the grand scheme of things, okay? It's really not. And that's the energy that I'm getting from the Empress. And what it feels like here is someone put a boundary in place. Seven of Wands and the Nine of Cups just so that they could be happy. And that effectively broke them out of some sort of mental prison that I feel like was being put on them by another person. An external being. With the Eight of Swords, Judgment, and the Emperor, this feels like this was time for you to stand up and step out on your own and say, no, 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 no. Contrary to popular belief, my dear, I am in control of my life. You are not. But here's the thing, you guys. Whomever was trying to control you was in this energy, along with you. You were mirroring this Five of Pentacles energy between each other. And the other person was using that as a way to control you. A ploy. I, oh, this definitely feels like a love relationship, a romantic relationship. And this is how you got together. You guys got together on this common thread of like kind of a woe is me type thing. A rejection type thing. I'm getting this energy of like when people feel rejected and they get together and they gripe about it. It doesn't necessarily mean that you were rejected in the same way, but you have that common, you have that commonality. Well, that's what I'm feeling like is what helped you get together with this person, helped you align with this person, helped you gravitate towards this person, right? But then later on down the road, as you were going through your own ascension healing process, you started to recognize that this person want, doesn't want anything to do with getting out of there. That's a comfort zone for them. But that's not the type of comfort zone you want. I feel like you outgrew this relationship or this phase or whatever this lack mentality is. I feel like you outgrew that so quickly. And it may and some of the fight. Some of the fight, some of the arguments, some of the some of the battle was because this other person is like their head is spinning. Like, what the hell just, like, what do you mean? What do you mean you don't want this anymore? What do you mean you don't feel the same way? What, we were just having this conversation two days ago, a week ago. Yeah, things change. 
And it's so funny because I've been doing all this work to heal me, to work on me, to figure me out. And you've just been sitting there doing nothing this whole time. Very happy, very content to stay where you are. And look, no, look, no, no shade, no judgment. Like you want to do that, then do that. But don't expect me to do it too all the time. Like I don't want to stay in, I don't want to stay in this energy forever. No. I want to look at the four of pentacles. You know, this is really starting to look or feel like a situation where someone started to recognize how they were being held on to. So this was the moment, this was a time period where someone recognized that they had a really important decision to make. The lovers with the four of swords and the four of pentacles. Is this something I really want to keep holding on to? Let's talk about the four of pentacles. I really feel like this is a situation where someone started to wake up and recognize the toxicity here. What's the four of pentacles, please, Spirit? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the four of cups. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Oh, 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 damn. Okay, well, you have the magician again, guys. All right, so yeah, someone woke up and is like, no, 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 dude, no, dude, no, 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 I'm manifesting something different. Straight up and down, point blank, point blank, per it. Point blank, per it, okay? Per it. I am manifesting something new. You have the first, very first card out to clarify the Four of Pentacles was the Four of Cups. I am not with this shit any longer. I don't want this. I don't want this. Four, four, four. Look at that. Four of cups, four of pentacles, four of swords. Four, four, four. That's the angels right there. The angels coming through saying, you know what, baby? You need to just release this devil energy, this toxic energy, the devil in reverse, with the ace of cups. Four of cups. Devil in reverse, ace of cups. No, devil, I don't want this any longer. No, this is toxic. No, this is a codependent situation. I release this. I reject this for self-love. It's not that you're just rejecting or releasing this just for shits and giggles, just to go find or manifest a whole, a brand new situation of the same element. No, no, no. You are completely rejecting, rejecting this toxic and low vibrational and codependent energy and replacing it with self-love. Devil in reverse, the Ace of Cups. Which is ironic because the Four of Cups has this Ace here, right? This person, the Four of Cups often is depicted as someone not accepting a cup of love or a cup of an offer of something, but here is that cup being offered. So what this kind of feels like here with the Four of Cups, so look at this, this cup is being poured. All right, or whatever is being poured is being poured into this cup, right? And then this individual is looking at these three cups or looking towards these other three cups here that maybe they've spilled out. But what I'm picking up on is there, there has been a cup that's being offered to you or has been offered to you. I feel like it's kind of been lingering over your head for a while. The divine or spirit has just been kind of patiently sitting there, you know, with this cup and offer like saying, okay, well, they'll, they'll figure it out eventually. And then you started to look at what was being offered to you by spirit. This cup of unconditional love over here. And then you would look back over here. Wait, let me do this this way, right? Because the cup of love is being offered to you, but it's being offered behind, like behind you, right? So you saw it, you're like, okay. And then you look over here to the devil and you're like, huh. Okay, yeah, I, um, you know what? I'm gonna have to go ahead and take that ace. Two more cards here. Fucking right. You might have been dealing with a narcissist. I am not a doctor. I am not licensed to be diagnosing people, nor do I really want that responsibility. 
So instead of saying you may have been dealing with a narcissist, I'll say you may have been dealing with someone with narcissistic tendencies. And those narcissistic tendencies have been expressed because of their own sense of lack of mentality. Narcissism is an extreme form of self-doubt. Narcissism is an extreme form of insecurity. Okay. So that makes perfect sense. So I'm getting two things with the next two cards that came out here. You have the Nine of Pentacles and you have the King of Wands. What I'm getting here is that someone stood their ground and, and affirmed their independence in the face of someone that was trying to control them or exper ex ex uh, um, expressing narcissistic tendencies. But then also what I'm getting with the King of Wands is that you kind of switched it up on them and kind of took that same King of Wands energy and was like, nah, bitch, I'm doing this and you're not going to stop me. I'm telling you, there was some sort of argument or some sort of fight or just something happened. There was a, there was a flash, a moment of clarity for you, the hanged man, that ch changed everything. It was this moment. Whatever happened here, Whatever happened in the conversation, whatever happened in the argument, whatever happened in the fight, or just whatever has happened over this process, there was a breaking point where something clicked in your head and you finally got the enlightenment or the change in perspective that you needed to push you into this ma magician energy, to manifest what it is that you want. And for some of you, it may have just been that you were tired of being upset. You were tired of being unfulfilled. You were tired of being left out in the cold or dragged or neglected, whatnot, whatever. And thus you decided to change something. The tower, you had a tower moment. You brought the tower down and that left it wide open for you to move in the direction that you have chosen. And that direction is ultimate happiness and emotional fulfillment. Whether you reach it ultimately in the next phase or not, what you know is that I am not going to get this happiness and ultimate wish fulfillment and ultimate emotional stability and fulfillment in this situation. There is that ultimate choice you needed to make for yourself, the lovers, okay? Woo, all right, you guys, yikes. Let's close out this reading. Right. We've got our Crystal Mandala deck, yes? Here we go. Five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Alrighty, y'all. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. Closing Oracle Guidance for this collective reading. For this collective message. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. There it is right there. Well, <laughs> well, well, well. Would you look at that? Card number 29, which does boil down to an 11, okay? Ascended Master Kuan Yin and Pearl, Divine Rebel. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Look at you, all rebellious and shit. Okay, I see you. <laughs> oh, guys, I cracked myself up. Okay, here we go. We bring you the blessing of the Divine Rebel. Divine Rebels shake things up create a divine disturbance, and refuse to play by the rules. They do this because they love divine love. They know there is nothing as powerful as the unconditional love of the divine. It will have its way in the world, in the hearts of all living beings. It will not be tamed, controlled, restricted, or denied. If there is a rule that gets in the way of that love, then the divine rebel will find another way so that love can have its way. The divine rebel in you is not meant to do things the way others say you should. Uh, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Some people may become frustrated with you because they won't know why you have to stand up and speak your truth. The fuck do you think you are? <laughs> That's okay. Divine rebels are not always understood, but they are respected for those, I'm sorry, by those who are ready to make love more important than fear and who are willing to contribute constructively towards healing of the world. Boop. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I am sending you so much love, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>